Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to do transform as a fact in After Effects. These are my two videos right here, which I pre combined. Make sure your both clips are similar, the angles and stuff. Place the playhead at the end of the first clip. Go to Composition, Save Frame as File, Output Module, PNG Sequence. And click Render. Go back to the second clip and place the playhead at the beginning of the second clip. Composition, Save Frame as File, Output Module, PNG Sequence. Click Render. Now we need to remove the car from the background. There are many ways to do it. Uh, so first is Photoshop Generate Fill or you can go to this website photoroom.co. In this home page, when you go down, you can see this option Remove Objects in Seconds. Click it. Go down and add the image. Using this brush tool, remove the car from background. Do this for the second image also. Now, go back to After Effects and import the images. Let me add this image to the timeline and place it in the middle. Place this image at 4 seconds. Go to the frames forward and delete the remaining part. Add second image into the timeline. Place the 10 frames. And delete the remaining part. Place these two images in here. Now let me create a duplicate of BMW video comp. Place it above the BMW background image. Place the playhead at the beginning of the background image. Right click on the duplicate BMW video comp. Time, freeze frame. Let me drag this comb at 10 frames. Delete the remaining part. Using pen tool, I am going to mask the wheel. Then create another duplicate of this freeze frame comb. Delete the mask and create a new mask. I will mask this headlight part. Now create another duplicate comb. Delete the mask. Add a new mask. So I just create a total of 7 masks. Top, spoiler, back wheel, side, front, headlight and front wheel. For the second video, I just create a duplicate of the video. At the beginning of the second video, right click time freeze frame. Place this freeze frame comb in the beginning of the second image. Using pen tool, add a mask for the wheel. Create a duplicate comb, delete the mask. Add a new mask. Replicate the process which we done for the first car. Total 7 mask. Front wheel headlight, front side, back wheel, spoiler top. I will select all these mask combs and drag it where the background image is ending. Go back to first mask comb, select all the mask combs. Top position, set a keyframe. Go 5 frames forward and place each pieces like this. Go to the end and place each pieces back together like this. No need to be perfect. For the second mask comb, select all the mask comb. Open position and set a keyframe at the beginning. Place these keyframes at the end. Now I will drag these combs over here so that we can match up the parts. Let me place these keyframes over here and trim the remaining part. Go 5 frames forward and place each part according to your likings. Let me easy ease all these keyframes.
Go to effects and presets and add transform to one of the mask core. Under transform, hold hold key and click on the position. Add expression, wiggle open bracket, 5 comma 50, close bracket. Hold hold key and click on scale, add expression, wiggle open bracket, 5 comma 30, close bracket. Copy this transform and paste it on all the other mask ropes. Add motion blur to all the mask combs. Let me add spark overlay video into the timeline. Place it above the first background image. At the scale and position, change blend mode to screen. Let me cut it and place the remaining part above the second background image. Add motion blur. Now I'm going to mask the second background image. For doing this, I'm going to hide all these layers above the second background image. Using pen tool, I'm going to mask this row. Create duplicate and delete the mask. I'm going to add a new mask. Go to the end of the image, set a keyframe for position. Go at the beginning, change the position of each image like this. Easy is both keyframes, so open graph editor, adjust a speed graph like this. Add motion blur. Now I'm going to pre-comb all these layers. I'll rename it as car transition. Let me adjust the graph. Now I'm going to cut the part where the transition is happening. Go to effects and presets and add a slider control. Open position and hold alt key on keyboard. Add expression, wiggle open bracket, 10. I will drag this pig whip tail and add it to the slider. Let me change the slider to 25. So now you can see this black portion. To remove this, add motion tile. Check mirror edges, output width and height 200. And that's it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls. Thank you for watching.